hi everybody so today's video is going to be and say hi Joshua <laughs> today's video is gonna be an update on my lipstick collection um, since the first video I made back in 2010-2011 I've gotten a lot more and pardon me for the lighting um, it's making my lipstick, the one that I'm wearing now, seem lighter than what it is, but it's not. It's actually kind of a dark purple. And that'll actually be the first one I'm going to talk about, if I could find it. <laughs> okay, so. Um, this is, the one that I'm wearing now is from the Maybelline uh, Vivids collection. And this one spe is specifically number 905. Five. 905 in brazenberry and this is what it looks like see it's it's really pretty i actually like all the colors from their vivids collection but my favorite color is purple as you can tell so that's what it looks like it's a very nice purple very smooth very pretty and um I'm going to continue on with uh, keeping in with the trend. I'm going to continue on with the other vivids I have. So the next one I have here is 865, and this is Fuchsia Flash. Here's what it looks like. I know on the camera it appears more dull, but it's actually a very bright pink, almost similar to Candy Yum Yum from MAC, just a little more more pink to it. I know the candy yum yum is more matte. This one's more creamy and that's um, Fuchsia Flash right there. Okay, the next Vivids I have is Electric Orange, number 880. This is what it looks like. Okay. And again, like I said, these I love these they're so creamy and they're very pigmented for being drugstore now the only thing that I've noticed there it is right there it's a nice orange the only thing I've noticed is they wear away very easily which kind of sucks because they're really nice colors and then finally the last one that I picked up from the um, Maybelline Vivids collection is number 870 and this is shocking coral that's what it looks like. See, it looks orange, but it's not. It's coral, but you'll see it on my hand. Okay. And that's Shocking Coral right there. So that's Shocking Coral, Electric Orange, Fuchsia Flash, and Brazenberry. All very nice colors. Okay, so those are all my Maybellines. Now let's get... Oh no, I have another one in Maybelline yeah I forget what these are called but I know it's from like a berry collection and this one is actually uh, number 410 called blissful berry Ooh, if I can open it. this is more of a plummy kind of color very nice for the fall now the vivids I just swatched they're very good for the summertime faux show sure. Okay, and that's what the color looks like right there. It's a very nice color. All right, now on to so now on to all of my Revlon lipsticks. And now that I actually put out my lipsticks, I was kind of like clumping them together by brand. I realized I the most I have is a Revlon. I think I think it looks like it. But the first few that I'm going to show you is from the Revlon Color Burst collection. And they're all very <laughs> they're all very creamy lipsticks and the first color first color I'm gonna show you is peach. That's what it looks like. And these are all very pigmented colors as well. Pretty affordable. I think I got them for like $7.50 or something like that in Target. That's what it looks like. Now, I know on the camera it's because of my lighting. It looks nudie, but it's a peach color. And the yeah. next color from the Color Burst collection is... Oh, I forgot to tell you the number. It is 075. 
This one is 006 and it's in pink sugar. And that's what it looks like. This is actually the first lipstick I bought. So I wasn't a big fan of lipsticks. I was a lip gloss kind of gal and then I don't know what happened. But now I like them. Oh, you can barely see it. There it is. This one has shimmer. Out of all the lipsticks I have, this is the only one that has shimmer. But it's very cute. It's very sheen, but it has a lot of color to it. Okay, it's the next... It's kind of like a silver, Mama. That's right. The next one is number 30 in Fuchsia. And this was my first bright colored lipstick. I apologize for the lighting, it's kind of crappy and it's making the colors appear not like their real color, their genuine color. So I apologize for that, but that's fuchsia right there. Okay, and the last color that I have from the Color Burst collection is number 70 in Soft Nude. This one's actually very similar to the pink sugar, just without the shimmer, and actually more pink, really. So there it is, right? Can you see it? You can barely see it. There it is, right there. It's very, very nudey, hence why it's called nude. Okay. So the next, this one I actually picked up, I think maybe like three weeks ago. It's from there super luscious cream collection and this one is number 677 and the color is called siren it's orange it's very pretty very bright it's orange when you look at it but when i swatch it on my hand it has like red undertones to it so it kind of resembles a coral color but it's very pretty and then my last Revlon lipstick, I'm not too sure what collection it's from, but I got it around Christmas time and I wore it, I forgot where I wore it. My friend from Utah came to visit. We went out to eat and I wore it. And it's red. It's looked like a coppery red and it has flecks of gold in it. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of it only because like it reminds me of like old lady kind of color. No offense. But there it is right there. It's like a brick kind of color. Mm, we'll see. We will see if I'll keep it. Probably not. Alright, now I'm going to show you my two Sephoras. My one Rimmel and my one Milani. I don't have a lot. I feel like I have a lot of lipsticks and then I see like other um, YouTube girls and their makeup and I'm like girl please you wish okay so this first one is uh, from the Sephora Rouge collection I believe yes and the number is R13 I forgot what the name is called but here it is this is well it was my go-to lipstick when I would go out oh my god it was my go-to lipstick and it's a very goes on very smooth it's a very nice color it's a pinky color and again I apologize because it's not coming out what it looks like in person it's a very uh, bright color okay my other one from Sephora is also rouge and it's R23 in the color crush now this lipstick oh, I love it it's dark it's like a dark purple but I love it because it's so pigmented. It's like a wine, very deep wine color. Someone's hyper, and there's the color right there. Okay. Now on to my. Oh my God! You see him in the background? Crazy kid. On to my Rimmel uh, lipstick. It's actually from the from their Kate Moss line. And it's in the number one. I'm not too sure what the color is called. I think it's called Rosetto. I'm not too sure. But uh, it's a weird... You know what I liked about this one? The shape of the two. It's kind of cool. It has a little, a little 
Ooh, there we go. A little crown on top, and then it has her signature. So it's very cute. This is a red color, and I like it because it's different from my Ruby Woo. It's darker. More, ooh, ooh. Almost broke it, but it's okay. It's more of a darker brick color. And again, because my lighting is like orange, it's coming off a different color, but it's a very nice color. And my one and only Milani lipstick is in the number 26 Nude Cream. I've heard a lot of reviews about their lipsticks, and it does. It smells amazing. It smells just like they say it does, like candy. And this, I think, is my favorite nude lipstick because it's pinky, mauvey pinky. Great pigment, and they're very cheap as well. And there it is, right right there. And last but not least is my MAC collection. And the first lipstick I actually purchased from MAC was Ruby Woo. Um, but I'm pretty sure all of you guys have seen it. But for those of you who have not, which if you haven't, still you. Just kidding. Um, here's what it looks like. Your classic red. This is a, has a matte finish to it, and it, which sucks because it dries out your lips. But to me, it is the ugh, stupid lighting, the perfect red. Love it. Okay, my next one is pink. No, 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 you, no, whatever. The, the, the light pink that reminds me of Nicki Minaj's lipstick. Here it is. There we go. If I put it in the camera, it looks more like the color. Maybe that's what I'll do. This one's a little more creamier. And of course, pigmented as all MAC, li Ooh. MAC lipsticks are. This nude one I actually like a lot. There's like certain... I'm like showing you in the camera. There's like certain nude lipsticks that just make me look like I'm pale and have like the stomach virus and I've been sick in the hospital so this one has a little color to it and it's um called freckle tone oh yeah, it's it literally like matches my skin so you're not even gonna be able to see it. it's just gonna look like my skin is like shiny there it is uh, right there probably my favorite lipstick from MAC so far is Girl About Town my favorite color it is gorge another color I would love to wear in the summer that is very creamy and of course pigmented and like I said my favorite color and finally my last my last lipstick we've come to the end is called rebel here's what it looks like it looks dark but then when you put it on your lips it's not as strong as like the sephora one and there it is right there actually let me pull up the sephora one if i could there we go See what I mean? Oop. See what I mean? It would be great if I showed you. Like this one's creamier, but they're kind of like the same shade, but the color difference. And again, I'm gonna swatch it for you so you can see. The color difference is like bananas. Because the MAC one isn't as dark as the Sephora one. That's the Sephora one is the MAC. Eh. Well, hopefully with time I will get better lighting and a better camera but for now i hope you guys enjoyed my video and until next time see you guys later bye